children let us continue the chapter surface areas and volumes now let us continue the exercise 2 of the chapter the sixth question what is that sixth question curved surface area of a right circular cylinder is 4.4 meter square if the radius of the base of the cylinder is 0.7 meter find its height so what is given the csa of the circular cylinder is given csa of right circular cylinder is given that is 4.4 m square and also the radius of the base is given that is 0.7 m what you have to find out we have to find out its height so let us find the solution I have the sketch of the cylinder here h we have to find out R is given and CSA is given. So you write CSA of a right circular cylinder equals 4.4 m square and R equals 0.7 m H equals question mark that you have to find out now you write the formula for csa csa for the cylinder right circular cylinder is 2 into pi into r into h that is given how much it is 4.4 .4. then you write 2 into pi is 22 by 7 r is 0 0.7 into h equals so write 2 into 22 by 7 into r is 0 0.7 into h equals 4.4 then 7 on the 7 point on the 22 to the 44 44 into 0.1 is 4.4 4.4 h equals 4.4 is equals 4.4 then you write h equals 4.4 by 4.4 equals that you will get h equals again we can cancel the decimal point that becomes 44 by 44 in both the numerator and denominator the decimal point is after one digit therefore you can cancel them then it becomes 44 ones are 44 ones are that is h equals 1 height equals 1 meter then you can write its height is height of the right circular cylinder is height of the right circular cylinder is 1 meter now the seventh question the inner diameter of a circular well is 3.5 m and its deep is its depth is 10 meter it is 10 meter deep find its inner curved surface area and the cost of plastering this curved surface area at the rate of 40 per meter square at the rate of rupees 40 per meter square so here what is given given that inner diameter is given and its depth is given depth is how much 10 meter and you know that the well is circular well is in the shape of cylinder so you can compare this well with the cylinder then you take the solution then what is the diameter of the well diameter of the well is 3.5 and its radius becomes 3.5 by 2 so you write r equals d by 2 that is 3.5 by 2 then h means depth of the well that equals 10 meter 
then h equals 10 meter then what you have to find out inner curved surface area that is csa csa equals question mark write the formula for the csa that is csa of cylinder csa of right circular cylinder equals you know that formula 2 pi r h that equals 2 into 22 by 7 r is 3.5 by 2 then h is 10 meter then that equals you can cancel 2 2 za and also 7 1 za 7.5 za then you write 22 into 10 into 0.5 10 into 0.5 is 5.0 you can write 5 then 22 into 5 you got here 22 into 5 is 5 to the 10 1 carry 5 to the 10 plus 1 11 so you got 22 into 5 is 110 meter square that is the inner curved surface area therefore inner inner curved surface area inner curved surface area equals how much inner curved surface area is 110 meter square then we have to find out the cost of plastering this well Pla cost of plastering this curved surface area at the root of rupees 40 per meter square so therefore you write cost of plastering cost of plastering inner csa equals how much the rate of plastering is 40 40 rupees into 110 that becomes 11 4 za 44 and two zeros you can put so you got 4400 4, rupees that equals what how much you got rupees 4400 therefore you write cost of plastering therefore you write cost of plastering is rupees 4400 rupees 4400 now the question number 8 in a hot water heating system there is a cylindrical pipe of length 28 meter and diameter 5 centimeter find the total radiating surface in the system total radiating surface means we have to find the curved surface area of the cylindrical pipe so what are given here length is given that you can consider as a h for the cylinder and diameter is given then you will get the radius that is the half of the diameter but here height is in meter and diameter in centimeter so it is better to convert the radius that is the diameter into meter so you must have the same unit here one is in meter and other one is centimeter so try to have the same unit for both length and diameter then you write the solution what is given diameter is given so you can get radius equals half of diameter d by 2 that equals 5 by 2 5 by 2 is 2.5 so it is 2.5 centimeter now you convert this into 
meter that is 2.5 by 100 meter then it becomes 25 and 10 extra you must put that becomes 0 0.025 meter 0. 0 0.025 meter why you have to divide it by 100 because you know that because you know that 1 centimeter equals 1 by 100 meter or 100 meter or you can take 100 centimeter equals 1 meter 1 meter equals 100 centimeter so to convert meter into centimeter you must divide it by 100 then you take the h it means that is the length of the cylindrical pipe what it is given it is 28 meter then you use the formula for the csa that is total radiating surface in the system is nothing but curved surface area of the cylindrical pipe so you write tsa of radiating surface tsa of radiating surface equals csa of the cylindrical pipe csa of the cylindrical pipe write the formula to find the csa of the cylinder that is 2 into 5 into r into h then you write 2 into pi is 22 by 7 r is 0 0.025 into 28 now you can cancel 7 1 za 7 4 za then you write 22 2 the is 44 and 25 4 the 100 then you have 1 2 3 T, 3 digits are there after the decimal point then it becomes point comes here so you got 44 into 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0 is nothing but 0 0.1 you can cancel this there is no value for this 0 that is in front of the 1 which is after the decimal point so you can leave these two zeros then 44 into 0 0.1 you know that 44 1s are 44 and here decimal point is after the one digit so it becomes 4.4 .4 meter square 4.4 .4 meter square so you can take that the total radiating surface in the system is therefore total radiating surface in the system is 4.4 m square then the second question how much steel was actually used if 1 by 12 of the steel actually used was wasted in making the tank here what I have to find out how much steel was actually used if 1 by 12 of the steel actually used was wasted in making the tank now let us solve it solution we have first one the LSA or CSA to find that one you take the diameter is given R equals R equals what so you take that is for the for cylindrical petrol storage tank cylindrical petrol storage tank then you take that is diameter is given r equals 
d by 2 d is 4.2 m by 2 4.m by 2 is divide 4.2 by 2 you will get 2 1s a 2 2 is a point 2 1s a that you will get 2.1 meter the radius of the cylindrical petrol storage tank is 2.1 meter then you get the height h equals 4.5 m find the csa of the storage tank then you write csa equals what is that what is the formula to find the csa of the cylinder that is 2 pi r h csa equals 2 pi r h then you write 2 e into 5 is pi value is 22 by 7 r is 2.1 and h is 4.5 here r is 2.1 in the place of r we have to put 2.1 in the place of h what we have to put in the place of h we put 4.5 then 7 ones are 7.3 za that equals 222 za 222 za 44 into then 45 3 za 45 3 za 5 3 is a 15, 4 3 is a 12 plus 1, 13. Then you write 1 3 5 means here 1 digit after the recipient, here also 1 digit after the decimal point. So in this product becomes 1.35. Then into 44 you do. Then 5 4 is a 20, 3 4 is a 12 plus 2, 14, 4 1 is a 4 plus 1, 5. Then it is again 5. 40 then 0 4 9 5 you will get and the decimal point what where we have to put that is 1 point means 59.4 it becomes so you write the product is 59.4 m square 59.4 m square next you take now let us come to the second part. It is a closed cylindrical petrol storage tank. Means it is having both upper and lower pages. Both the pages it is having. So we have to get the total surface area. And you know that total surface area of the cylinder is sum of the curved surface area and area of the base. Or you can use the formula TSC of cylindric was 2 pi r into r plus h or it is 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. You got it already. So, find this and add to the CSA or otherwise you get both together. That also you can do. And here what is given? 1 twelfth of the steel used was wasted in making the tank. 1 twelfth of the actual steel used was wasted. Therefore, the area of the steel which was actually used for making the tank becomes that is 1 minus 1 by 12 of the total used. So, you take here yeah, first you get the TSA of the closed tank that is cylindrical tank. equals you can have csa that you got already plus 2 pi r square so you need only to get this so csa that you know right say you got it already that is how much that is 59.4 so you write here 59.4 plus 2 into pi value is 22 by 7 into r square r is how much r is 2.1 meter and you write 2.1 into 2.1 as it is r square so you write 2.1 into 2.1 then it is 7 ones are 7.3 za then you write 59.4 plus 222 za 22 za 44 
into you write 21 threes are 3 ones are 3 6 point means you will get 0 0.63 because here 1 point 1 digit here also 1 digit that becomes 2 digits so you got 21 threes are 63 so 2.1 into 0 0.3 is 0 0.63 Again, you multiply 44 into 63. Then it is 3 fours are 12. 3 fours are 12 plus 1, 13. 6 fours are 24. 6 fours are 24 plus 2, 26. Then it is 2772. So, you write 59.4 and the decimal point must be after 2 digits. So, it is plus 27.72. Then add this 59.4, then it becomes 2, 7 plus 4, 11, 9 plus 1, 10 plus 7, 17, 6 plus 2, 8. So you got it 87.12 what m square. The TSA of the cylinder is. 27.12 m square then what is said here how much steel was actually used if 1 by 12 of the steel actually used was wasted in making the tank so let us consider the steel used is x here here after wasting 87.12 m square is remaining then what is the ratio of waste here 1 by 12 of the actual use so let us take let x is the actually used steel actually used steel so, 1 by 12 of x is wasted. Then, so that becomes, therefore, TSA equals 1 minus 1 by 12 of x. That equals, how much? TSA is, this is TSA. 87.12 that becomes 11 by 12 x 11 by so that is 11 by 12 of x equals 87.12 then x equals 87.12 into 12 by 11 then you can have here yeah, if it is possible to cancel or on the way you multiply it 12 2 are 24 12 1s are 12 plus 2 14 12 7s are 84 plus 1 85 12 8s are 96 plus 8 96 plus 8 is 104 that divided by 11 that you will get how much 1045.44 again you divide that 1045.44 divided by 11 and you will get that equals 11 9 is 99 then how much is remaining 5 Pfizer and know that 11 Pfizer 11 Pfizer 55 and 4 and you can't divide again you write 0 here, 4 that you will get 95.04 95.04 m square so actually still used still used equals how much 95.04 m square now the 10th question 
in the figure you see the frame of a lamp shade it is to be covered with a decorative cloth decorative cloth the frame has a base diameter of 20 cm and height of 30 cm here the diameter is given and height is given a margin of 2.5 cm is to be given for folding it over the top and bottom of the frame find how much cloth is required for covering the lamp shade here what is given diameter is given and the diameter is 20 cm means r equals 20 by 2 that is 10 cm and the height of the lamp shade is given the frame is given that is 30 cm since a margin of 2.5 cm is used for folding it over the top and bottom so the total height of the frame becomes 30 plus 25 plus 25 30 cm plus 30, 25 plus 25 cm then it becomes how much since a margin of 2.5 cm used for folding it over the top and bottom so the total height of the frame becomes 30 plus 2.5 plus 2.5 that is 30 plus 5 35 centimeter it becomes and the given height is 30 centimeter but the the length for the margin above and below becomes 2.5 and 2.5 that becomes 5 so we write solution what is given or you can get by using diameter that is 20 by 2 equals 10 centimeter and also height you take that is 30 above 2.5 plus below 2.5 equals 30 plus 5 35 centimeter here I have to take this 2.5 2.5 that is for folding a margin of 2.5 centimeter is to be taken for both above and below so the height becomes 35 centimeter now you write the formula to find the curved surface area which becomes the cloth required for covering the lampshade so you take therefore cloth required cloth required for covering the lampshade equals what CSA of lampshade CSA of lampshade that equals 2 pi rh 2 pi rh that equals 2 into pi is 22 by 7 into r is 10 and 35 that becomes 7 ones are 7 fives are then it becomes 2 24s are 44 into 10 fives are 22 twos are 44 and 10 fives are 50 then it becomes 5 fours are 20 5 fours are 20 plus 2 22 one extra zero you know that 44 into 5 is 220, 44 into 50 is 2200 cm square. So you write the cloth required for covering the lampshade. Therefore, cloth required for covering lampshade is 
2200 cm square 2200 cm square now the 11th question last question of that exercise the student of a vidyalaya were asked to participate in a competition for making and decorating pen holders in the shape of a cylinder with a base using cardboard each pen holder was to be of radius 3 cm and height 10.5 cm the vidyalaya was to supply the competitors with cardboard if there were 35 competitors how much cardboards cardboard was required to be bought for the competition here the required area of the cardboard for each competitor is equal to what area of the base plus curved surface area of one pen holder that is here only one base is there not two bases because the pen stand pen holder is having only one base no upper cover here therefore here area of the base plus csa that becomes pi r square plus 2 pi r h that is the csa of cardboard for one competitor then we have to multiply that by 35 then you will get the total cardboard required to bought for the competition So you write cardboard needed for each competitor. So write the solution. Cardboard required by each competitor. Before you write here, before it is better to write the you write for each pen holder for each pen holder. What is base here? The R is given area of the base that is three centimeter and height is given that is 10.5 centimeter by writing that after you write cardboard required by each competitor cardboard required for one pen pen holder you can write by each competitor equals what pi r square plus 2 pi r h then pi you can remove common here pi you can remove r also you can remove common what is remaining here r plus 2 h it becomes r plus 2 h pi is 22 by 7 r that is 3 then 3 plus 2 into 10.5 then it becomes 22 by 7 into 3 3 plus 10.5 into 2 you know that that becomes 5 to the 10 and 210 that is 21 it becomes 21.0 you will get that is 21 then it is 22 by 7 into 3 into 21 plus 3 is 24 then you multiply all these three 22 threes are what you are going to get 66 into 24 by 7 multiply 66 and 24 that is 6 fours are 24 6 fours are 24 plus 2 26 again 6 twos are 12 x to the 12 plus 1, 13, 
4, 8, 5, 1 you will get that divided by 7. 7, 7 twos are 14, 1 is remaining, 7 twos are 14, 4 is remaining, then 4 fours are, then you will get 7 six are 42, 2 is remaining, put point 0, 7 twos are 14, again 6 is remaining, 7 eights are, so approximately you can write, Two two six point two eight cm square that is for one pen hold one pen holder or one competitor then here for 35 competitors cardboard required equals it is for one competitor therefore you write for 35 competitors cardboard require equals cardboard required equals what you have to have 35 into 226.28 so you multiply 22628 into 35 that is 8 fives are 40 and 2 fives are 10 plus 4 14 and 5 6 are 30 plus 1 31 and 5 2 are 10 plus 3 13 5 2 are 10 plus 1 11 again you multiply it by 3 8 3 is 24 then 3 2 is 6 plus 2 8 6 3 is 18 plus 1 and 3 to the 6 plus 1, 7, 6. So you will get 0, 8, 9, 11, 9. Then you will get 7, 9, 1, 9, 8, 0. The decimal point comes here. 7, 9, 1, 9. So we will get 7, 9, 1, 9, point 8, 0. CM square. Then approximately you can write it as 7, 9 because it is above 50, above 5. So you can write 19 can convert at approximately it is equals to 7, 9, 2, 0, same square. Hence, 7,920 cm square of cardboard was required to be bought for the competition to be bought for the competition